Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a brand new vlog. If I look a little bit watery-eyed this morning, I've not been crying. I have just been chopping up some onions. I've just started to make some lunch. I've got the butter melting and I thought, what can I do while I'm waiting for the butter to melt? I know, <laughs> I'll start my vlog for the day. I took the day off vlogging yesterday and actually it felt a little bit strange because normally when I'm doing three vlogs a week as opposed to a fashion video on Sunday, but I might do that this Sunday because I've got a trip coming up next week and I have a feeling I will be Wi-Fi-less for quite a lot of time. You will see why <laughs> when you see where we are. So yes, this is me just unraveling <laughs> my thought process in the vlog. I might do a fashion video this Sunday to buy myself a little bit of time. But yeah, what I was saying is when I vlog, when I do three vlogs a week, I pretty much have to vlog every single day. Um, so it felt a bit weird having a day off yesterday, but it was an admin day. It was a looking after Lala day. She is now four days post-operation or five days. Um, still not very mobile, so I'm making us both a pea and asparagus risotto. I'm also going to head down into the garden and see if there's anything in the garden that I can add to our lunch. I made a really lovely display of flowers yesterday with Alcamilla, um, Catmint, and I'm not sure the name of the white flower. Took it up to the coach house for the to enjoy, and it was so lovely <laughs> that I'm going to try and recreate it this morning. I think the Alcamilla, which I always forget the name of, um, you'll see what it is in a second. It's so beautiful because it's like a really fresh, bright green colour. It's a little bit different. Um, and we've been promised a few days of rain, even though <laughs> they keep looming and they're not actually turning up. So I'm keen to get out into the garden as much as possible while the sun is shining and bring in as many blooms as possible. I can hear my butter bubbling. So, yes, time to add the onion. I'm watching Love Island while I'm cooking, but also checking the recipe. This is the Ocado one that I showed you that I'd got the ingredients for um, at the end of last vlog. I think it should be nice and easy. Only four steps in the recipe. Anyway, what's Ekin Sue got to say? So I've got my risotto rice here cooking with some white wine um, and I bought these tiny bottles from Amazon exactly for this reason for cooking because I drink rosé and not white wine so I don't often have a white open in the fridge. Got the veggies ready to go and I'm now going to add the cooked asparagus um, stalks into the blender to make a puree and then add some of this stock in with my rice. Well, it's definitely not my best presentation as I have literally just tipped it out from the pan onto the plate, but I have just tried a little bit on the spoon and oh my goodness, this is delicious. Well, the risotto went down an absolute treat. It was delicious and actually not too unhealthy, just a tiny sprinkling of Parmesan. And now I'm taking over here. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind. But we have had a new shed installed today. <laughs> Very excitingly. So what's shed number two for, darling? So this primarily is for like garden furniture. Right. And cushions. Okay. So obviously a lot of the garden furniture, like the new wicker chairs from Oxenwood, yep. all, that are out by the circular table, they'll be out for summer, but then we'll need somewhere to store them in winter. Mm -hmm. um, I think to be honest, it'd be sensible to store the metal chairs 
in there throughout winter as well because they will rust and it's yeah. winter, during winter when it's cold and wet i guess it's, when there's like lots of wet weather mm -hmm. um, so it's is it slightly bigger than our old one the same footprint but we don't ah. have the store, so it's um it's bigger in terms of the storage space fantastic I think it works perfect because obviously the tool shed here is more accessible this will be used less what is dexy barking at barking it, Spectacular. Um, what I'm going to do is get the Nicholson's traps to We've got some of that old York stone left. Yeah. So we're going to put just a nice big chunky slab here. Uh huh. Um, and then it's big in there. It's huge. Woo! I mean, to be honest, I might move in. I was going to say. I might you... put a little gaming chair. I don't even play video games, but just sort of sit here and just sort of. Or like, read my books. we could turn it into a sauna. Yeah, it smells like a sauna. It does, doesn't it? Do you know what? It this does. is bigger than a lot of people's like outdoor offices. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a great size. It is a great like, size. Shout out, Crane Garden Buildings, they come and they put this up in an hour and a half. Yeah. It's very really impressive. Really good service, actually. Um, I found these <clears throat> storage things online. I would say that's too substantial to keep inside a shed. No, because I think with, with the cushions... My God, it's want... so expensive. No. Yeah. You just need something, like, cheap if they're going to be inside. No, like a fabric bag. Gets the stuff. No. Well, when you know how expensive those outdoor cushions are, you might... Mm. I want to spend the money to look after them. Right. Um, but we, yeah, I mean, we'll figure out this at the weekend it, what we're going to do in here. Yeah, it's going to be hot on Sunday, so we can sort it then. I must apologise for my rubbish vlogging today. Um, I've just done a good old peloton in the gym, and I've come out here to the front or back front herbaceous border, which I don't come to that often for um, making flower displays purely out of laziness however this is very similar to the display that i put together last night for lala and i loved it so much that i wanted to bring one into our house as well so i've just recreated the same starting off with a base of alcamilla as my green base and then i've added in some lovely purple catmint so i always think that purple and green are the best combo I didn't do this for Lala's yesterday, but um, I'm doing it for ours. We've got loads of Fabina, which is really, really tall. Um, you can see it's literally, I don't know if you can see it there. Let's try and focus. Apologies, this is on the phone because I can't find my vlogging camera. Dexy. Um, yes, the Fabina over here is probably approaching six and a half to seven foot tall. <laughs> it's very, very big. Um, so great for snipping. And I think it dries out really nicely as well. And then I cannot remember the name of these little white ones. So I've not gone too overboard, but a really lovely shape for a little display. And I'm very happy with this. I've done a little bit of filming vertically, so I might turn that into a quick little TikTok. Good morning, my darlings. I'm gonna apologize right now for the crazy lighting that is about to occur. Oh, we're about to stop at a traffic light. This is perfect. So I apologize for my very rubbish vlogging yesterday. Um, I picked up the camera at very sporadic moments. But at the moment, Charlie and I are racing through the lanes to get an early bird train. Speaking to the speed limit. Of course, <laughs> of course. Um, we are heading into London bright and early this morning. Charlie has got some fun things going on and I've got something even more fun going on. I have been looking forward to this for so long. Today is the launch of the Beauty Pie pop-up in Covent Garden. They're calling it the Beauty Pie Warehouse and I've never been able to shop Beauty Pie physically before. I've only ever shopped Beauty Pie online Line. As I'm sure you all know, it is the beauty, luxury beauty membership where you can get access to the most incredible beauty products at Lab Direct pricing. I have so, so many favorites. Um, today I have popped on my super healthy skin body lotion, my youth bomb serum. I have got the beauty pie primer and face mist in my bag. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store because the pop-up is here and I don't think I'm gonna be able to control myself at seeing all of the products at those incredible prices. What's the exfoliating right mask called? Fruity that, Zyme. Yeah, that's my favorite. Yeah. But then also they've got a foot. <coughs> Sorry. Foot yeah. Photopia. Yeah. Photopia. Yes, Charlie is always yeah. stealing. Well, what's your wish list? Because I can get Those some bits two, for you today. I use Photopia every evening. Yeah. The only thing that I did notice though, last night I put it on, uh -huh. and I think I I got up to. <laughs> and you ice skated to the bathroom. No, and I, there's footprints on our wooden floor. Oh no. But I think it'll absorb it. But, yeah, um, it's probably quite good for the floor. It's probably fed the floor, but yeah. I can actually <laughs> see where I where I walked on our wooden floor. <gasps> like but, Father um, Christmas. Yeah, but the uh, yeah the. The end, what's the face mask? Fruit design. Fruit design. Yeah. Zyme? 
Yeah, like a fruit Fruitazine. enzyme. Yeah, that that is amazing. I yeah. use that every, probably two or three day, times a week. Yeah, it's very good for good, resurfacing. I think it's good before shaving as a guy because it sort Ooh. of gets rid of dead skin cells, yeah. clears your pores, then you shave. Um, I wouldn't use shot. it after shaving because I think it would be a bit stingy. You Obviously should you need to use, use SPF afterwards. You do. You can use my Beauty Pie SPF. Also for guys, I think, um, what would you say your main skincare concern is? Well, I actually think it probably is aging now. Mm. Gradually, it's become aging. Beforehand, it was just keeping my skin moisturized and not too oily. Yeah. So that perfect balance, because mm -hmm. uh, I have got quite oily skin. Yeah. I would honestly say aging now. I think also, given um, that we're kind of always working, like fatigued, tired skin is a bit of a okay. dull skin. Have so, you got hyaluronic acid in your skincare routine? Yes, I have, yeah. yeah okay. Because my peach pie hyaluronic acid would be a good one for you. Um, I think so, the other, sorry, just quickly, I think the other thing that a lot of guys don't do, and maybe even girls, is nighttime routine. Yeah. I think guys just use skincare in the morning and they're like, oh yeah, I'll just I'll use a flannel at night. Oh no, I'm the other way around. No, but I think guys do. I, 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 most people, I guarantee you, I'm going to pull a stat out that I've made up, but I reckon about 85% of men don't do skincare in the evening. That is not good enough. I reckon. Girls, tell your gentlemen to start up an evening skincare routine, even if it's just a hyaluronic acid serum and a night cream. I think that is the perfect combo. Um, but anyway, I'm getting dazzled, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys when I get to Covent Garden. Well, the skies may be gray, but I have made it into London. This is Floral Street, one of my favorite streets in Covent Garden, looking very British with the flag still up from the Jubilee. Some of my favorite stores down here, including the Alex Munro jewelry store. There's even a Peloton since I was last here. And then this is the direction that we're going in. Oh, I can see it. Beauty pie warehouse of dreams. There it is. So we're in the warehouse and we've got our hard hats. We've got our high biz vests. And how it works is you grab one of these um, clipboards, take a look at all the products. Every beauty pie product is here for us to see and then we'll hand this in at the back, place our order and it'll be grabbed from the warehouse ready for us to enjoy. Okay, let's go. Well, my darlings, we've made it into the store. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear me very well because it's super busy in here already. So I definitely recommend getting here early if you can. But we can literally see all of the products from Beauty by here. Oh, it's so loud, my goodness. Such a good opportunity to try out some things that I have been lusting over on the website. incredible experience it is so busy in the beauty pie pop-up it is there until july the 10th so you've got a little bit of time but i would definitely recommend getting there as early as you can because i'm predicting queues all the way around Covent garden it's going to be so popular so amazing to see all of my favorite products in real life smell all the candles try out loads of the new products and to get to speak to the founder for so long she gave me so much of her time which was so generous of her i quizzed her about the products that they don't have like why don't you do this yet um and asked her lots of questions that you guys have asked me to ask beauty pie so i'm gonna find somewhere where i can talk to you properly and show you what i purchased because there are quite a few goodies in this bag so um, how the pricing works is that if you are a member, you can pay members prices. If you're not a member, you should be. And <laughs> don't forget you can use Josie Sent Me, which will get you £10 off your annual membership, making it £49 instead of £59. I would recommend doing that before visiting the pop-up because then you can get the members prices, which are essentially lab direct prices. So incredible. Um, anyway, I am in the centre of Com Garden. It's actually not too busy. 
which is crazy for a Wednesday afternoon. Um, but I'm gonna mooch around, do a little bit of shopping, and then I've got a lunch meeting, and then I will find somewhere to show you what I picked up in the store. This is such a good idea. The Vashi store has got one of their artisans actually working on some of the jewelry pieces right here in the window. A fabulous idea. By the way, if you're looking for the beauty pie pop-up, so this is the main kind of piazza of Comic Garden, that's the Apple store over there, and it's just up here on the right hand side in case you're wondering. lunch meeting. I'm a little bit early so I'm going to do a bit of work here at La Gokia which is part of the Petersham Nursery here in Covent Garden. We just had the most glorious lunch and now the sun has come out in Covent Garden and so have all the people. It's nice and busy now. I'm going to do a little bit more shopping and then I have got a Hydra facial which I'm very much looking forward to. And this is my next stop for the day, the Hydrofacial Headquarters, which is on Portman Street. Actually, technically we're on Baker Street by Portman Square. I'm very much looking forward to this and getting a glow. darlings that very strange noise was my LG styler or my fashion fridge as I like to call it shaking around and um, steaming my dress that I was wearing today I'm home now as you can tell and I just jumped straight in the shower because I felt very London-y <laughs> if you know what I mean fantastic facial experience at Hydra Facial. It's their new flagship on Baker Street. Um, they've got these four little beds, kind of like in this big space. People passing by can see you getting the gunk lifted out of your skin, but that doesn't really bother me. Um, yeah, it was... I've had Hydra Facials before. It's fantastic. They use all these different products to deeply cleanse, like a light peel mixture, which is squirted onto your face lifts all the gunk from your pores and then I did show you a little clip where you can actually see this fluid afterwards and that is all the stuff that has been extracted from your skin so disgusting but also amazing and I really want to have them a lot more regularly because I really do notice such a huge difference. I always say you kind of have to wait until the next day because right now my skin is probably in a little bit of shock and I have been in London all day so yes. I think they're the best facials for getting a glow to your complexion. They're not crazy expensive, they're not like a relaxing facial, they're a, they're a kind of facial that actually makes a big difference to how your skin looks. I love them, I'd quite happily 
only get hydrofacials as my kind of salon treatments. Um, so that was amazing. And I did promise I, I was going to try and find somewhere. Oh my gosh, I feel like Father Christmas um, to show you all of this, but I didn't get chance anywhere earlier. So I will show you now my beauty pie loot. I'm sorry I'm not looking more glamorous to show you. Um, I am getting my hair coloured tomorrow. I'm going back into London. I actually slept in heatless curls last night, but it was so rainy in London this morning. They all went completely flat. Uh, so I've just scraped it back. So I apologize for my not so glam appearance. But anyway, let's get in to this huge bag of products. I went a little bit crazy. It was so exciting to be able to smell all candles. So this one is Rev de Ez. Rev Des, 60 hour burn time, fresh mint oil, eucalyptus and lemon. Oh gosh, that is so minty. That would be such a lovely kitchen candle. Oh, wow, that's gorgeous. Um, because I feel like that's the kind of smell that will really cut through cooking smells. I think these are 20 pounds. So amazing. So obviously in the pop-up you can get your members prices, but you do have to be a member. You can walk in there as a non-member um, and you can sign up there to become a member. So normally it's 59 pounds for the year, which works out at around just under five pounds a month um but obviously you can use my code josie sent me which will get you 10 pound off making it 49 pound for the year you can use that to activate your membership and then get yourself down to the pop-up as soon as you can because it really is amazing um japan fusion a really lovely cleanser both charlie and i love this so a fantastic top-up for us another candle they had a diffuser of this as well and i think it's called the bitter orange bitter orange and black currant and this to me smells really festive mm. a fresh fizzy energizing orange layered over clean lemon twists with hints of black currant clove nutmeg and grapefruit i feel like this is what i'm going to light all around the house when it is vlogmas gosh that's the first time i've mentioned vlogmas so far this year um but yeah this is what my house is going to smell like at christmas time and then fresh freesia patchouli and moss i have had this one in the past i have burnt it all down um needed a top up and it really is better better than germ alone better than diptyque it's very it's quite a masculine fragrance actually but i quite like that and I love the glass jars as well. I use them for makeup brush holders, everything. Very, very helpful. Chi Energy Double Cleansing Micellar Water. This is a really lovely and hydrating micellar water. I learned from <laughs> Marcia, which was so amazing to chat to her. I also love the size of this. It's going to be really good for me for traveling. She said it's got hyaluronic acid in there. So she actually said it's so hydrating that you could literally cleanse with this and then go to bed and not even put a moisturizer on. I wouldn't do that because I love to be super hydrated um, at bedtime, but great fact. I've heard great things about the Beauty Pie brushes, so I picked up the Pro Blend, Pro Blend Blush Brush. <laughs> I don't know why I find that, found that so hard to pronounce. I had a little feel of it in the pop-up, and it's really lovely and soft. It's Wednesday night, so it's church bell practice <laughs> in our village, in case you can now hear church bells in the background. There we go, just lovely and soft, and I thought perfect for popping in my handbag for applying my powder during the day. Pimple patches, I thought this was such a good idea with salicylic acid, an ingredient that I can't pronounce, and niacinamide to reduce visible pore size, smooth refresh, and prevent clogging. I tend to just get like the odd blemish every now and then so I'm going to pop these in my bedside drawer and I can pop one of those on if and when I get a blemish. More candles, oh my gosh I just love them. Bahia de Miel. I honestly don't think I want to buy an expensive candle ever again and <laughs> these smell so good. This smells like an expensive candle. This would be such a lovely gift for a host or hostess if you're heading to someone's house. Also quite festive, quite a wintry candle but 
just a really luxurious fragrance. I needed a top up of my beauty sponges. I always love to use this as an example for how good value Beauty Pie is. Um, obviously Beauty Pie get their products direct from the factories and from the labs, so they're not pay paying any middleman huge price increases. So for example, a typical beauty sponge, the most famous brand, they are 17, I think 17.99 for one of these, but this whole pack is less than the price of one, and there's 10 in here. I think they're amazing, they're exactly the same as the famous brand ones, um, which I have named in previous videos, you guys know the ones I'm talking about. Um, I just wet them ever so slightly and they are the best for makeup application. This is something else that Marcia was showing me, it is their new super facial vibrating cleansing brush. It is a Korean design, it's absolutely beautiful. You plug it in and charge it via this USB stick and then you can have this little uh, docking station wherever you want to charge it and then the brush itself is wireless, you can use it in the shower and this will just help your cleanser do its job a little bit better, get deeper into your pores, um, on and off button, and it is a little bit flexible as well, so great for getting into all of those angles. So I need to charge mine up, and I will do a cleanse with this tomorrow evening, and then in the next video, I'll let you know how I got along. I recently ran out of my very expensive Clay de Peau moisturizer, and I tried a little bit of this on the back of my hand at the pop-up. It's the Triple Hyaluronic Acid Deep Moisture Miracle Cream with Skin Plumping Idea Lift and Firming Exopolysaccharides. <laughs> Um, I'm a huge fan of the Hyaluronic range, I think it just works really, really well, that's what I love about the Beauty, Pro Beauty Pie products, they just work, they do what they say on the tin, and this feels really heavenly, in fact, I'm going to apply some of this now, I'm not putting any of my skin and me on this evening, because I had active ingredients applied to my face during the facial, I that would not be a good idea, it would probably make me a little bit sensitive, but Hyaluronic Acid, even though it's called an acid, it's not going to aggravate your skin, it's just super hydrating, it absorbs, is it 20 times its own molecular weight in water, so it's really good at re retaining um, moisture levels in the skin. My Beauty Pie Hyaluronic Acid Serum is always the second thing that I apply to my skin in the mornings, after my Clay de Peau Serum, which I am just obsessed with, it is painfully expensive, but I honestly, I love it. Um, and I often put my fake tan drops in with my Beauty Pie Hyaluronic Acid Serum for ultra hydration. Omega-3 capsules, which Marcia said to keep in the fridge because I don't eat fish. And she was saying it's so important for elasticity within your skin, skin, hair and nails, um, and also for your eye health. And my eyes in the dark are diabolical. They are so bad. So I definitely need to have this in my diet. And I never have done in the past, so... Um, Yes, I'll be taking Omega capsules from now on. And the final thing <laughs> is another candle because they really are just incredible. This is the Pomegranate and Bay Rose. Sounds very much like a diptyque kind of vibe candle. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. This is my very expensive diptyque candle. It is beautiful and I will be using it as a plant pot when I have burnt it. But honestly, this smells better. This smells better than my Diptyque Rose Candle. Wow. So there we have it, my darlings. My Beauty Pie Haul from the pop-up. Such a fun experience visiting. Um, so as I mentioned, it's number seven at James Street. In Covent Garden, you can't miss it. I believe it's open 10 till six every day between now and the 10th of July, which is so exciting. Definitely get yourself down there. They also posted on the Beauty Pie Instagram today the days that Marcia is gonna be there if you want to meet the founder. In case you didn't know, she also was the founder of Bliss Spa, uh, Soap and Glory, Soap Duper, Fit Flop, the most insane and inspiring woman, and also, a, frankly, a genius for thinking of Beauty Pie, because it is just the most incredible business. Um, so yes, get yourselves down there, and let me know your favourites down below, and don't forget Josie sent me to get 10 pounds off your annual membership. Right, I'm gonna go and have my dinner now, um, and then I'm heading, as I said, into London again tomorrow to get my hair done. So my darlings, I will see you in the morning.
And just like that, I am back in London. I just wanted to show you this little corner of the street in Marlebone because I've noticed there are some really beautiful flowers growing in just these little areas at the side of the road. This doesn't look that beautiful um, from afar, but they've got some salvia growing here. And then if you can see over there, the van's just gonna go by. Um, but over here, <laughs> There is some verbena growing, and I just love that they've created these tiny little mini herbaceous borders in central London. One of the many reasons I love Marlebone. Some blooms coming up in here as well, and some grasses. Looks really lovely. And now I will be spending probably the rest of the day here at Michael Van Clark. I'm getting my colour done. My lovely Jodie, who usually does my colour, is very soon to be going on to maternity leave. So I believe I will be having someone new and Jodie uh, both doing my hair today as a little swap over. But I always love spending time here. So it's time to freshen up my blonde. Beautiful display of white delphinium. I think they're delphiniums here in the entrance area. I love the gorgeous fireplace and can't resist some quality street as usual. I'll try and give you a little before clip. Um, so it never really looks that bad because they do such a good job here that it grows out really naturally, but it's mainly just natural growth that's going to be topped up today. So you can see the lighting in here is quite spotlighty, but you can see just around my parting it's getting a little bit dark. So you might be able to see a little bit more clearly in this light. I mean the colour overall is really good, it's just a little bit dark there at the top, which is what Bernadette is going to lighten up today. Lunch is served. They've got a deli downstairs. So while I've got my foils working their magic, I've got a full up and avocado toaster sandwich and an espresso smoothie. They've got loads of delicious bits in the menu. And here is the finished result. I always leave here with the most voluminous bouncy blow dry. I don't know what magic they do here, but I always have the most incredible volume up at the roots, the most gorgeous natural blonde color. Bernie did an amazing job. It just looks as though it is literally my natural hair. You can't see any roots anymore and it just blends with my colour absolutely perfectly. Okay, excuse my makeup because my makeup always completely melts when I'm in the hairdresser, but hair looks fantastic. The volume is absolutely crazy. Without my sunglasses holding it down, I look a little bit like Mufasa, but it's perfect because we've got a shoot at the house tomorrow. So hopefully I will wake up with a little bit of volume still left, but the colour is just fantastic. If anyone ever messages me asking for recommendations where to get your hair coloured, especially as a blonde in London, I always, 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 always <laughs> recommend Michael Van Clark. They just do the most incredible job. Um, I also only found out not too long ago that hairdresser Nikki Clark is Michael Van Clark's brother. Don't know why I only <laughs> figured that out about a month ago, but Nikki was um, doing a haircut next to me and um, just as glamorous and fabulous in real life. But anyway, I'm heading up to Marlebone Station and it's time to get home. Okay, darlings, back home again. And as you can tell, I got straight into my coziest pajamas. These are the pajamas from Stripe and Stare. You might remember I did an unboxing a little while ago and I have to say their pajamas, their underwear is literally the comfiest of all of my pajamas. So I just, on those days when I just wanna be cozy, and after a day in London, I always just wanna come home and like put on my coziest bits and bobs. So this has got the most gorgeous floral pattern on it and I love it. It's not my sexiest pair of pajamas, but just don't really care. <laughs> I just wanna be cozy. So yes, I cannot wait to take my makeup off after a day in London. Ooh. I look like a mixture between Medusa and Brian McFadden from Westlife, um, but I just want to show you the epic hair colour. So this is literally my dream hair colour. It's really bright and fresh blonde, and yet it still, in my opinion, looks really natural as well. So I had Bernadette, Bernie, this time do my hair, um, because Jodie is going on maternity leave, and Bernadette was amazing. She's done a fantastic job. She was really, really speedy. And then I had a blow dry as well, just to create a little bit of volume at the roots. And then I might try adding some curls using heated rollers tomorrow. Last time I used my heatless curlers, it was an epic fail. Um, but Bernadette, Bernie was saying how I should try heated rollers 
So I've ordered this set here from Amazon. It was only £40 and it's got loads of rollers in it. So hopefully that might work. So if you guys have got any heated roller tips, please let me know. I was also thinking while I was laying back in the hair wash station that Bernadette is such a beautiful name and potentially a future child name. But then I thought my surname is going to be Irons and Bernie Irons is probably not the best, not the best combo. <laughs> Bernie Irons. Yeah, <laughs> not ideal. Probably one of the only names that you cannot put with a surname of Irons. So maybe that won't happen. But anyway, oh God, I can't stop looking at my hair. This colour is the dream. It's And how does it still look so glossy after I've just had colour put on it? It's If you're a blonde, you'll know it is so hard to get blonde hair to look shiny. But yeah, that is why I love Michael Van Clark. The salon and the whole team are just amazing. This is my favourite hair clip, I've had it for years. I got it from Anthropology. It's got these little pearly flowers on it and it's broken. I think it's um gone rusty. Taking off my makeup after a day in London is honestly the best feeling. So I've used, as always, my face halo to take off the majority of my makeup. And now I am just finishing off my Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double. <gasps> I'm gonna try the brush. I'm gonna try the facial cleansing brush. <laughs> I just went to go and get it and then I remembered that I've not charged it up yet. Darn it, I'll have to show you next time. Um, but yeah, this is the most gorgeous feeling cleansing balm. I hope that the pop-up's first official day went well today. I hope it went well for them. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it would have been so busy. I decided to post a little come shopping with me on my TikTok as well. I haven't actually checked back to see how it's doing. I only really find that when I use like trending soundtracks, they're really really the only not reels they're the only tiktoks that seem to perform well maybe i'll turn the clips that i filmed last night putting together the flower display maybe i'll turn them into a tiktok okay so this will have melted through any remaining makeup on my face so i'll add a little bit of water to emulsify and then use a nice warm soft wet flannel to remove Okay, I've got a little bit of oil on my skin now, just nourishing after two days in London. Um, I think Charlie's making a risotto for dinner, which will mean I'll have had three risottos in a row. <laughs> Every day of this vlog, I'll have had a risotto, whether I cooked it myself on the first day, had it for lunch at La Gocchia yesterday, and Charlie cooking for dinner tonight. My tummy is rumbling, so let's go downstairs and see what's on the menu. Risotto. I've just finished my risotto and I've just unboxed my delivery that arrived today from Flowered. This time I chose, I think it was called their Wildflower or Wildflowers in a Vase um, display. So many beautiful blooms in here, including some which we've got in our Wildflower Meadow and then also some alliums. Ours have all uh, gone to seed now, so it's nice to have some fresh alliums in the house. There's even some grasses and this is so beautiful definitely recognize it but I'm actually not sure what this is but it's a really really beautiful um, bit of foliage I think these are little mini delphiniums really gorgeous and the sticks which come in the packaging um, which obviously help to support it during transport these are amazing for growing my tomatoes so I'll take this out into the garden tomorrow these are the peonies that I ordered from Flowered about 10 days ago now, and they are still looking absolutely amazing. Only one didn't open. I remember I received a bunch of peonies when we first moved in, and none of them opened. It was such a shame. But these have been the most spectacular peonies I think we've ever had. I've got the cream-coloured ones upstairs in my lovely vase from With Love Abigail. I mean, look, how can anyone not love peonies? They are so beautiful. Peony season, we've probably only got a couple more weeks left of it, so make the most of it. Um, and as a reminder, 
you can use Josie 20 for 20% off flowered and they do same day delivery in London. I actually ordered, and just outside London, I ordered Charlie's mum a display and it arrived the same day that I placed the order, which was absolutely amazing. But yes, these look gorgeous. I'll probably arrange them a little bit um, differently tomorrow, but it's nearly nine o'clock now, so I am ready for bed. This allium's looking a little bit squished. There we go. Oh gosh, that's so many alliums in here. Five giant alliums, that is so amazing. They just look so stunning. Is that some alcamilla in there as well? A Little bit of alcamilla, that color combination is so perfect. Have you had a tough day, my boy? <laughs> You're ridiculous. Even though my monge too look a little bit sad, a little bit sorry for themselves, where they've all been nibbled down here, they are actually starting to produce quite a bit for me to nibble on. I think the more you pick, the more they grow back, especially with things in the pea family. So I'm gonna come and um, pick the flowers for my sweet peas as well. But I was only down here 48 hours ago and there has been quite a lot of growth. I mean, that has just sprung out of nowhere. Definitely need to grow more Monge 2 next year. It's like a treasure hunt every evening because they're so camouflage. <laughs> Tonight's mini harvest. So just noticed my first outdoor little tiny strawberry. Oh, strawberries, oh my gosh, can you tell I'm tired? My first outdoor little tomatoes which I'm very chuffed with, especially considering I didn't grow these in a greenhouse. Um, I really hope that I get to eat these and they don't get eaten by any uh, pigeons or rabbits or anything else, or dickens for that matter. This one is not quite as happy. Um, I don't know if it's rescuable, but then I do have these little bush vine tomatoes growing here as well. And one of my courgette plants is doing really well. There's one in there which has got four or five little, you won't be able to see it, um, that one in the back there, four or five little, I think they're the yellow globe courgettes, and it won't be too long until I can harvest some of those. sweet pea harvest for the evening. It's only a small one, but the more you pick, the more they grow. So, oh. <laughs> so this will start to get really abundant as we go further into summer. Now, I know for sure that I didn't plant any mixed color sweet peas, but you can see here um, this, this petal on the kind of top right, it's white going into purple like the Jubilee sweet peas, which I definitely did plant. And I most definitely planted some pink ones as well. So I think they've kind of all merged together in the soil to create these really wild, almost technicolor sweet peas, which are really unusual they smell heavenly um, just not what I planted but <laughs> nice to have my very own I mean look you can literally see this one has got one petal that is the Jubilee sweet pea and one petal that's pink really unusual my very own old rectory sweet peas maybe I can save some of the seeds and um, start my very own range of sweet peas <laughs> I was worried that I didn't plant enough broad beans, but I can see there are so many starting to come through. I think actually I've probably done the perfect amount. I didn't even eat them all last year, there were so many. Um, I think another week or so and I will be eating broad beans with every meal. But yes, these are looking surprisingly healthy considering there was a bit of an aphid attack, but nature seems to have sorted itself out. And please ignore the yellow leaf. In fact, I might pick that. Oh, look at that one through there we've got some fantastic kohlrabi coming through and I've just spotted a terracotta pot hidden under here with winter spinach in it which I definitely forgot about um, but yeah I've got a little forest here of kohlrabi oh gosh that one is really big can you see it in there next to the sign I think that's one that we might oh in fact I think it's cracked oh a few of them are cracked well that's such a shame that really is a huge shame I'm pretty sure that might not be edible now. 